taking guns and melting them into a statue. That's what some San Antonio City Council members want to do. They're proposing a voluntary gun buyback program. But as Eyewitness News reporter Erica Zuko explains, the city's police chief says not so fast. This is about safety in our schools, in our businesses, in our homes, because we know this is where a lot of these terrible occurrences are taking place. Councilman John Courage and Councilwoman Jada Andrew Sullivan say their pitch for a voluntary gun buyback program comes after recent tragedies like the mass shooting in El Paso and deaths tied to domestic violence, which Andrew Sullivan has spoken about surviving. The miracle that I'm standing here today is what is proof that we have to do something because as soon as he turned the gun on himself, it was over. If that gun hadn't have been available, we probably would have still just been fighting. They're asking other council members to consider a plan allowing people to turn in guns for money or gift cards. Then they would melt the guns to create a memorial for gun violence victims. They're still researching ways to pay for the plan and where they do drop offs, suggesting police stations as one possibility. But Police Chief Willie McManus released a statement opposing that plan, writing, I have participated in gun buyback initiatives in the past, and I don't believe this proposed plan is an effective use of the department's resources. Sources. While the concept behind this type of program is well intended, there is no evidence to suggest that the programs are successful in reducing violent crime or getting weapons out of the hands of criminals. In fact, there are numerous studies that have confirmed that this type of program is largely ineffective. Council's Public Safety Committee will need to review the proposal before it goes to full council for consideration. Erica Zuko, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.